Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer Practice Lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. If you like these labs, please consider supporting me via my Patreon or the cryptocurrency options in the description. Also, please subscribe to the channel for more labs like this, and share these videos with anyone else studying for the CCNA. In this lab, we will configure a GRE tunnel. GRE stands for Generic Routing Encapsulation. R1 and R2 are not directly connected. However, we can use GRE to create a virtual tunnel between them, which will enable them to behave as if they are directly connected, and their tunnel interfaces will have IP addresses from the same network, 192.168.1.0/30. We will then configure EIGRP on these interfaces so they can learn about each other's internal networks. The configuration is quite simple, so let's get started. I'll start on R1 first. Enable, conf t. We have to make a tunnel interface on the router. This isn't a physical interface on the device, but a logical interface to which we will assign an IP address. You can type interface tunnel zero, or the fast and easy way is interface t0. Let's assign an IP address to it. IP address 192.168.1.1.255.255.255.252. Now we have to specify the tunnel source. Which interface do you think will be the source? In this case, it's the S000 interface, because that's the interface we will actually be using to reach R2 via the service provider network. So, tunnel source. S000. Next, the tunnel destination. Tunnel destination. Now, what IP address do you think is correct here? It's the IP address on R2's S000 interface, the one facing the service provider. So, 200.0.0.2. That's all there is to it. Now, let's go on R2. Enable, conf t, interface tunnel 0, IP address 192.168.1.2.255.255.255.252. The source and destination will be the opposite of R1's configuration. The source will be R2's S000 interface, and the destination R1's S000 interface. Tunnel source S000. Tunnel destination 100.0.0.2. Okay, that's all there is to configuring the tunnel. However, I've missed one very important thing do show IP route. R2's tunnel destination is 100.0.0.2, but it has no idea how to get there. If I try to ping R1 side of the tunnel, it will fail. Do ping 192.168.1.1. No response. Let's configure a static default route via SPR2. Exit IP route 0.0.0.0 0.0.0.0. 200.0.0.1. Now we have to do the same on R1. Exit. IP route 0.0.0.0. 0.0.0.0. 100.0.0.0. 200.0.0.0.0. 200.0.0.0.0. 200.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
do show IP interface brief. Our tunnel interface is up and up. Do show interface tunnel zero. There's the tunnel source and destination we configured. And you can see the tunnel protocol is GRE being transported over IP. Okay, now let's configure EIGRP over the tunnel. Router EIGRP, and I'll use an AS number of 100. So I want to advertise the inside network. So network 10.0.1.0, 0.0.0.255. I used the exact wildcard mask, but remember, it's not always needed for EIGRP. Just network 10.0.0.0, would have activated EIGRP on the G00 interface as well. Okay, now let's activate EIGRP on the tunnel. Network 192.168.1.0. Again, I'll use the exact wildcard mask, 0.0.0.3. Okay, let's do the same on R2. Router EIGRP 100. Network 10.0.2.0. 0.0.0.255 Network 192.168.1.0 0.0.0.3 Immediately, we get a message saying we have a new EIGRP adjacency over the tunnel interface, and the neighbor address is R1's tunnel address, 192.168.1.1 Do show IP route Look, R2 learned R1's 10.0.1.0 slash 24 network. Let's try a ping from PC2 to PC1. Ping 10.0.1.100. Okay, it works. Our GRE tunnel is up and working and we successfully configured EIGRP over the tunnel to share the inside networks. That's all for this lab. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comment section. If you want to support my channel, I accept Bitcoin and Ethereum donations via the addresses in the description. I am also a Brave verified publisher and accept BAT or Basic Attention Token donations in the Brave browser.